This is problem number five for section uh, 2.6. And this problem says find the limit. And it has limit as x approaches three of negative six over x minus three squared. Now, we don't really have an algebra manipulation per se to, to, to use to come up with a uh, with an exact limit for this problem uh, by direct substitution. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to test the limit as x approaches 3 from the right and do that for this function here and then also test it from the left. So the limit as x approaches 3 from the left and we're going to do some calculator work to figure this out. So as I approach uh, 3 from the right, I'm going to plug in, let's start with plugging in 3.001 minus 3 squared. And then as I do it from the, uh, from the left, I'm going to get negative 6 and I'm going to plug in 2.999 minus 3. Square that. So let's See what that gives us in the calculator. And we get uh, 3.001 minus 3, square it. And we're going to take negative 6 divided by that answer. And we get negative, ooh, that's a pretty big number, negative 6 million. Do the same thing on the on the left side here, or on the bottom part, 2.99 minus 3. Square it. And then negative 6. Well, we're going to end up with the same answer, it looks like. Same number. So we're going to just say uh, ditto here as the top. So we got negative 6 million. So they're kind of going the same direction, right? They're giving us the same number. What we want to do is we want to make sure that this is going, it seems to me like it's going towards negative infinity, but let's check. Let's do negative 6 over um, 3.000001 minus 3 squared. And we know that this is just going to be the ditto part for this other one because it gave us the same number to start. Uh, but we would plug in, let's go ahead and say that we're going to do negative 6 over... 2.999999 minus 3 squared. So when we plug that in, we get negative 6. We'll do a fraction this time. Negative 6. And then the bottom we're going to do 3.123451 minus 3 squared. Very small number, look at that, negative 6e to the, uh, the 12th. So I've got negative 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So pretty large number there. Notice I'm getting larger and larger negatively. That means the limit, and this is going to be a ditto for this one, because we'll just get the same number on the bottom and it's squared, so we get the same number. So on, it, on the other side of this, uh, on this 3 value, we're getting a number that's getting really, really small, really, really close to uh, you know, negative infinity, so going towards negative infinity. So the limit as x approaches 3 for this function is going to equal negative infinity because we just keep getting a smaller and smaller value. 